Hey what's up guys so I've been using Amaze Fit UX Pro for a couple of days now and there are some really cool features that I've come across and I want to share with you so in this video I want to talk about these 10 cool features and without any further delays let's get into it and the first thing that I want to talk about is the shortcut that you can set up with this select button and for that we need to first go in settings and then go in preferences here and here you will see this option called quick start up tap on it and here you can select any of these uh, features we've got activity goal heart rate workout weather music notification and a lot of other stuff that you can just launch by uh, pressing this button select from the watch face so right now i have it set to music and if i go back now and just press this button select it will launch music now moving on i want to talk about always on display on this watch as it also supports amoled display with the resolution of 360 by 360 so it's a super crisp display and also supports always on display and there is this one really cool feature here that i wanted to share with you guys and for that once again we will go in settings go in display and here go in always on display and here you will see this option screen of styles so if you go in here you can select follow the watch face which is the watch face that you have on on your watch all the time so if i go back this is the watch face that i have right now so in this case if always on display comes on it will follow the watch face that you have set as your default watch face so there it is and then you can actually change it by going in settings once again in display going always on display and here's screen of styles and here you can select either digital watch face or analog watch face so this will not follow the default watch face that you have on so if i select digital watch face and go back and try to launch always on display it will not follow your default watch face but will show up in a different style so in this scenario we have time we have date we have battery level and your steps as well if we select analog watch face from here and go back it will show up like this so again we have our time we have date and we have steps uh, no battery life here though when i first realized that this watch actually supports four different satellites when it comes to location i was blown away but it turns out you can actually select different pairs of these satellites to get the most accurate location possible and you can do it straight from the watch so once again we go in settings and just swipe up go in gps and here you will see this option positioning service go in here and here you will see these different pairs we have gps and bds which is Beidou, i guess gps and glonass and gps and galileo now i haven't tested them if they are accurate or how fast they are to uh, you know get your location but you have all these different pairs here that you can try from and you can select the one that is best suitable for you whichever allows you to get the fastest signal and lock on your location next there is also automatic workout detection built into this watch which is great because this is supposed to be a workout and fitness tracking watch so once again we will go in settings here and go in workout detection so once you are in here you can go in categories actually so here you can select which activities that you want the watch to detect automatically without you starting them so here we have walking indoor walking outdoor running treadmill outdoor cycling pool swimming elliptical and rowing machine and you can only choose between these there is no um, other option to select from so the choice is limited but you can still set up automatic activity tracking once you've done that you can then turn on the notifications it will tell you that the watch is now tracking your activity and then you can also select the sensitivity so how sensitive the watch is to detect your activity that you have working out so you can select high standard and low so i would uh, select it at standard and you can do so as well so whenever if you forget to start tracking your activity on the watch your watch will do it for you automatically so if you're running it will detect that you're running and will uh, give you all the metrics related to uh, that workout moving on amazp t-rex pro comes with an spo2 sensor built right into it and it is a great feature to have in a watch like this which is actually targeted towards you know working out and is being marketed as a fitness tracker so all we have to do is 
go in apps, go in SPO2 and make sure that you follow the instructions and I'll just push it up the wrist and then start mirroring. Now I will give you the instructions while you're doing this stuff. So things like holding still, screen facing up and wear the watch tightly. So there you go, it has calculated my SPO2 which is blood oxygen saturation or blood oxygen levels which is 96. I'm not sure if it is accurate but nonetheless we have this value here. So here you can read more about SPO2 uh, levels as well and how to improve it. But just be sure that you're not using this SPO2 sensor for any diagnostic purposes. For that you must always contact your doctor. Moving on there is also option to customize your watch faces although you cannot customize all of them but there are at least three watch faces that you can customize and have different options show up in complications. So if we long press on the watch face it will lead to all the watch faces here and the ones that you see this blue sign on are the ones that you can actually um, manage. So again if I go in here you can see that there are two options that I can change. Now here what you can't do is change the color of the dials or the watch face entirely but we can only change the complications and the information that shows up in these complications. So if it's here just swipe down and change what you want to see here and once you're done with that select the other one and then you can swipe up or down to change the information once again and once you're happy with what you see just tap anywhere and that will be selected. Moving on the next feature that I want to talk about is related to SPO2 sensor and since we have this sensor in this watch it is actually put to very good use for sleep quality analysis and uh, if you go into the Zep app on your phone you can actually take a look at your sleep breathing quality here so while you were asleep so this is my last night sleep uh, tracker here and if you go in sleep breathing quality it will show that I had four different periods of uh, difficulty while sleeping last night according to this watch which it categorizes as green which is mild so if you have more than 5 and uh, less than 14 then it's yellow 15 to 30 times is orange and more than 30 times is red now obviously this is not to be used for any diagnostic purposes or for any treatment you should definitely consult your doctor for that but here you can get a very good idea of what's happening while you're asleep and why you're feeling tired if you're feeling tired in the morning and if you just scroll down it will also tell you about different ways to improve your sleep breathing quality now this option can be turned on or off from the settings in the watch settings so if we go in Amaze Fit T-Rex Pro and then go in health monitoring here you will see this option sleep breathing quality monitoring now another very important thing to keep in mind here is that once you turn on this option it will also affect the battery life of your watch because it's just one more thing that it's doing in the background while you're sleeping next up i want to talk about theater mode on this watch and i was actually surprised to see this feature on amazfit t-rex pro because i have only seen this feature on one other watch or another platform and that's galaxy watches but we have this feature here and i really like this feature so if you swipe down you see this icon here this is the theater mode and if you tap it it will turn on the theater mode and as you can see it reduces the brightness of the watch what it will also do is that it will turn off the screen turning on every time you receive a notification so in this way if you are watching a movie and you're getting notifications on your watch and it's vibrating the screen will still stay off and you will not disturb anyone else or yourself while watching a movie in the dark theater next up I want to mention torch feature here as well so if you swipe down you will see this torch icon just tap on it and it will launch this bright white display which acts as a torch now there is nothing more that you can do with this feature right now I hope with software updates they will add more functionality to it but right now that's what it is but I'm glad that this feature is here because I have used torch on my galaxy watches countless times now and it's a very handy feature to have on your wrist and finally I want to talk about these four buttons on this watch and this is also one of my most favorite features about this watch now it is very unusual to have four buttons on a watch usually we only get one or two buttons and then we have uh, you know a scrolling wheel or a scrolling bezel to control the watch's interface but here you have touch interface but then you have these four buttons and you can control every single feature of this watch with the help of these buttons 
so you can go touch free as well and now let's see what all of these buttons do so this one is a select button this one is back button this one is down and up button as it's already mentioned so if i press this back button from the watch face it will take me to the app list here or the app drawer and then i can use these up and down buttons to navigate so i can go down and up and if i want to go in any particular app all i have to do is press this select button and it will take me there press the back button to go back again so that's how you use it from the watch face once again if you press this up button it will you know get you to the quick settings and if you press the down button you go back to the watch face keep on pressing the down button and you go to your tiles or cards or widgets whatever you want to call them and i have already shown you how you can set this button to launch any function on your watch or select function so from the watch face what i've selected is music control and from the watch face if i press this select button it will launch the music control straight away so that's how you can control every single feature of this watch with just these buttons without ever touching the display and i really like this capability in this watch and that's about it from this video guys those were the 10 cool features or 10 cool things that you can do with the maze for t-rex pro i hope you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this i will see you in the next one till then take care Bye bye